when I first learned about this, I, I thought it was it was going to become a crystal ball for me because like one of the hard things about making decisions was the uncertainty around the future. It's just like if I if I take this path, where is it going to lead me? Where am I going to end up? And so I started to try and apply this process to a lot of decisions, decisions that were fairly minor. For example, that I was into machine learning and AI at the time, and there was a whole lot, bunch of competitions, and I was thinking to myself, oh. I don't know whether to enter this competition or not. Maybe I should decision journal it. And back then it, it took me a while as well. The process wasn't as streamlined as it is now. And so th there's the work you got to do for that upfront. And then there's, if you're going to apply to a bunch of other decisions, then it just multiplies out and it became unmanageable really quickly. And then it, it basically squeezes out time for the really important decisions. So it's like that old, that old thing where if you prioritize everything, nothing gets prioritized. And it's a bit like decisions as well. If you deliberate on every single decision, no one decision actually gets the, the consideration and the time it deserves. Yeah. And so um, I've got a tool in the book. Uh, it's one of the first book, um, tools called the Impact Reversibility Matrix. You, you have to think about whether how um, high impact a decision it is and how reversible it is. So with entering a, a machine learning competition, it's highly reversible because I can just quit at any time. Could potentially leave a bunch of teammates in a lurch and maybe wreck my reputation. So maybe it's like, maybe you've got to take those into account if you pull out. And in, in terms of the impact, it's it's really one of those decisions that is, um, the upside is fairly high in that build a, build a reputation. You can meet, you can make, um, you can meet some cool teammates and build a, a relationship with other professionals in the community. And the downside is very small. Like it's, it's a time you put into it and really you can probably quit at any time as well. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's like the decision. I, it's a cautionary tale that I, I went through in the book of like, okay. So like, once you learn this, you, it might be like a bit of a runaway. I want to apply this to everything and I want to become a decision-making grandmaster. But uh, I think a true decision-making grandmaster uh, can apply to the meta decision of, of should I actually run the pro run this through the process. Is it irreversible enough? Is it high impact enough to warrant this? And so, yeah, and we go through that as well in the book.